Good evening, everyone. How are you? My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to Lumber Tycoon 2. And today we are going to be building the roof. The roof. The roof. The roof is on. No, let's not say that because the roof definitely does not need to be on fire. But um, I was figuring out like how I would actually do this. And I think what I want to do, I want to do one angle on this side and then another angle on that side. That way, they kind of, uh, they, they, like, they, they, this one will come up like this, and then this one will come up like this, and then we'll have, like, a, a little down space kind of thingy. I don't know. But it'll give me room for, like, a third floor. So I could put a ladder right here, or something, or rather, maybe a ladder here that would go up to a third floor. Kind of like a little entertainment area up there at the top. So <clears throat> let's do that. Let's get started. Um, we do want a little bit of an overhang. So um, let's see here. What shall we do? What shall we do for a Klondike bar? I guess that one, that one would be good. One third. And then we'll do three thirds on the other side. Yeah. So let's see. We need to do a rotate, rotate. Rotate, rotate. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Should we do, um... Mm, hold on. <coughs> My goodness. <clears throat> we'll do, we'll do like... Oh, make a wish! Anytime a YouTuber sneezes inside their video and they don't edit it out, you can absolutely uh, make a wish on that. That's a, that's a proven fact. That's, that's science right there. Oh, I guess uh, we do need to come out. Some, don't we? Um, how much is this overhanging by? Two? So we'll make this one overhang by two as well. So let's go one, two, right there. There, that's good. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was, that was horrible. Um, it is allergy season, or it's at least it's, it's turning allergy season. And the pollen is in the air. Now, here's the crazy thing. I did not have allergies growing up as a kid, and I didn't develop allergies until later on in life. And it's weird because I didn't have allergies in the Marine Corps either. Uh, and this could be the paranoid me, but I think um, <clears throat> I think it may have been caused by something in the Marine Corps. You know, something may have happened. Oh, and for those of you that didn't know, I was in the Marine Corps. Hoorah. Is that, oh, is that hanging over by two? That is hanging over by two. Nice. How did that work? Because, I mean, I didn't measure any of that, but there, it's two over on that one, and it's two over on this one. Beautiful. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to question it. Um, I do need to go get gold wood, because I, uh, I want to make the roof gold. Because if you if you look at the icon of Lumber Tycoon 2, hold on. Can I, can I get a picture over here, Steven? <laughs> Steven? Where is... Fate. So I didn't realize it, but the correlated uh, cor the this here. Hold on, the that kind of roof, right? It's gold. So there were angles in there a long time ago, wedges, and I don't remember. I, I think wedges were added later on. It may have been one by one wedges or something like that. But that's uh, that's something that we needed. Um, so. I like gold and the, the cherry wood. It just, it pops, you know? It's got a very distinct look to it. And it's very Lumber Tycoon 2 -ish. Like, Lumber Tycoon 2-ish. I said that the other night, too. Okay, so anyhow, let's go ahead and go do that. Let's go get some gold wood. Do I have any gold wood left? Was that yellow wood? No, that's a, that's a axe. Burr, 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 boink. Anything left over here? There is nothing left. Do we have any underneath? Oh, nope, nope. That was crazy. I, I for some reason, oh, 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 close that, close that. There we go. Okay, let's let's go get some gold wood, and let's not try and lose track this time, because I know my ADHD usually gets away from me, and uh, I I forget the reason of why I went somewhere, but not tonight. <clears throat> tonight we are on a task, we are on a mission, and that's what we're going to do. And for a lot of you, it's it's not nighttime, but the time that I record is night, which is the reason that I say good evening, you know, 
used to I'd say good evening because that's when I was introducing myself to like all the people that were inside the room because I, I used to do online hypnosis as a little little party trick as a little funness and I think it's still fun mm. <sighs> it's fun for parties uh, oh and by the way there's two different kinds well actually there's like a lot of different kinds of hypnosis but or hypnotist um, I am not a clinical hypnotist. Somebody was asking me that the other day. They're like, Code, did you ever like have somebody get rid of bad habits? Well, technically I could, but it takes like sessions and th there's a lot more psychological stuff that goes along with it. I'm the, the kind of hypnotist that like makes you bark like a chicken <laughs> or hop on one foot or pretend like there's a, a squirt gun or something. I don't know. Makes you forget your name and stuff. It's a stage hypnosis versus clinical. I am not a clinical hypnotist. Whoa, no, no, no. Oh, I wasn't paying attention at all. <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know, we are driving to um, the swamp at the moment. I'm going to go pick up some gold trees, some golden trees. A lot of people are like, Code, how did you figure out some of this stuff? I'm like, I've been playing it for so long. Somebody in the comments section is like, uh, number's dead. I'm like, mm, okay. Did, did you just get to the channel? Did you, is this your first rodeo or something? Lumber is not dead. It is something that I play, I enjoy, and I have fun at. Oh, 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 oh. Now we can. Oh. oh my goodness. This is not going well. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why is this not working? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no! <laughs> Dang it! Oh, what a rough time today. All right. <clears throat> can we fling ourselves up there? We probably, probably not. We can definitely get ourselves stuck in a tree, though. Look at that. That is, that is not fun. Okay. Well, let's try again. If at first you don't succeed, cheat. I mean, uh, try, try again. <laughs> don't cheat. Don't, don't exploit. That's not. That was supposed to be a joke, but. Poor taste. Poor taste. Especially because of the guy last time. Last episode. Uh, by the way, um, a lot of people all the time comment of like, I've been here since 20k. I've been here since such and such. I, I don't even remember the videos that I was making during 20k. So, uh, do you have, have like a year that you started watching? Or maybe like two months, five months, two years, something like that. Something that would be a little bit more feasible for me to, like, remember, maybe? Skills. Oh, squeak! Squeak! <clears throat> Made it through. Okay, whew, now we can relax. It looks like the peninsula still hasn't been expanded or anything, but I have a feeling he's, uh, Defaultio's definitely doing something over there. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Boat shop, maybe? Boat shop? Uh, a tunnel to a new biome, possibly? Would that be so cool? I'm ready. I'm ready for a new biome, I'm ready for a new area. I'm ready for some updates, Mr. Defaultios. Ooh, I made it. Oh, oh, skills, skills. You always have to call out skills. Even if it was complete accident, it's skills. <laughs> skills. <laughs> Whee! Oh. <laughs> I just rotated just a singular tire. Come on, there we go. By the way, I'm not I'm not messing around with like trying to go down that thing and everything else. I'm still using my blueprint glitch. There we go. Oh, 
Has anybody noticed that the fog has gotten thicker? Like, it's a, it's a lot thicker than it used to be. I can tell. Does anybody remember the first time that they ever made it to uh, the swamp? Like, I remember being on the lookout. I was like, oh, something's going to jump out and get me. It doesn't. There's nothing here, but it's just... It's eerie, you know? Hold on. Can I turn the... Yeah, let's turn the volume up a little bit. And there's absolutely... There's nothing here. But still... I bet even right now, you just got a little bit more quiet, a little bit more on edge, because it's not that there is something there, it's that the possibility that something could be there, hiding just inside the fog, and at any moment... <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know if that actually worked or not. <laughs> if you jumped, I do apologize. <laughs> oh man, that was fun. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in, in the in the swamp. There's it's absolutely safe um, and fun. It's a great place to go and get uh, goldwood. It, the only place to get goldwood actually, and zombie wood. So if you need uh, if you need green or yellow. I guess it's more of a golden color. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, and we'll just set that in there like that. And I'll grab this and set it in there like, like this. There we go. Blink. And. Blink. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. You know what? I really should. Have um, have somebody hold the the wood for me, and I'll I'll transfer bases. Oh no, I would have to do it solo. This the whole point of this slot, this base, is to perform everything solo, like all by myself. Because um, a lot of a lot of people don't want to play in public servers because of the exploits, which is which is a sad thing. But at the same thing, same time, I feel. I feel like I'm doing you a service by not playing in public servers and showing you that it is possible to play by yourself without the need of a, a public server, you know? A lot of people have been asking me for collabs and for um, signatures on their bases. And I would love to say yes, but I can't in good conscience join a public server with the possibility that somebody could go in and destroy your base destroy my base it's just it's not good did you notice in the last episode I did not load in my base whenever I joined that public server and it's specifically for that reason and it's not that I'm afraid it's just I'm so tired I'm tired of the exploits in every game all of Roblox, it's just, you're not modding anything, you're just, you're just being a jerk at this point. And it's not, it's not one person in particular, it's most public exploiters. Now, you might be watching this video right now and you're saying, well, Code, I exploit and I'm not a jerk. Well, that's probably true. And the fact that you're watching my channel probably means that you're not, you're not mean, you know? I mean, you could be mean. I, I have no clue. I don't know what kind of moral fiber you have. But I would hope that most of my fans and most of the people that watch me have some kind of good moral upstanding, moral compass. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong. I've, I've done plenty of trolling in my lifetime. And I will probably troll many times in the future. But there's a point where funny haha -ha trolling turns into actual trollery like you're just being mean and that's that's no good you don't want to do that I figure I have enough I, I probably have enough right 
Out. <coughs> no, I didn't want to build. There we go. No, I know. Just to rotate. Uh, okay. You know what? Just rotate that. There we go. <laughs> but seriously, um, if you're if you are a troll or if you are an exploiter, don't use your powers for evil. Don't be mean. Don't delete bases. Even if it has the ability to delete a base or if it has the ability to wipe a base, don't do it. And encourage others to not do it as well. Because I, I put a lot of time into these these builds. Uh-oh, Mr. Coffee Bean. What are you doing? No money and no help on this base. This base. Thanks. I'm sure he, he knows. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you can come and hang out. Just don't help help at all. Oh, and for those of you that don't know who Mr. Coffee Bean is, he is one of the staff members over in uh, my Discord. So that's why I don't mind him being here. It'd be it'd be kind of like if uh, Jack or Grammy joined me on this base. They, they know my intentions of what I do inside my private server. So, all good. Oh, by the way, join the Discord. <laughs> we have uh, karaoke nights and we have family movie nights and we have all kinds of good gamery task and funness in there. Come join us. Discord.gg forward slash code primate. We'll be waiting. <laughs> code primate's Discord. It's like a good home cooked meal. You just. <laughs> I don't know. I was some kind of commercial. Imagine, imagine a commercial of like a grandpa and a grandson uh, going fishing, and uh, the the feel goods. You know, early in the morning and the child's sleepy, and he looks up at the grandpa and says, "Grandpa, do you love me?" And then the grandpa looks down and says, "Of course I do, Shawnee kiddo." And then you know, it puts on Code Primates Discord, like Grandpa or something like that. I don't, I don't know. But do that, and then that's. That'll be the advertisement of um, of Code Primates Discord. You know that feel good hook that they they do. Okay, have you ever noticed that about advertising? Um, the, like the Hallmark cards or something like that. It, it will. Well, the Hallmark cards don't really count because that's, that's still the feel goods and stuff. Um, the oh, the car commercials, right? Car commercials are really great at this, where it's like. Some kind of distinguished um, person doing distinguished things in a suit and, and driving and drinking martinis and very da -da 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 -da. like that, that's the car that makes you do that. Is that what the car does? Because that has nothing to do with cars. That that's like the opposite of what cars do. Because I don't I don't feel distinguished at all. I feel very frustrated when I drive a car sometimes. And it's just, I, I don't know. <sighs> you know what I'm talking about. If, if you ever watch marketing and you watch um, advertisements in general, it's clickbait. It's all clickbait. It's been clickbait since the very beginning. You know? How do we get someone to buy our products? Let's anchor it to an emotion of some kind. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever seen any honest advertising. Like, here's our product, and this is this is the good and this is the bad. You know. <clears throat> and I'd like to talk to, talk about some cigarettes. Let's let's talk about cigarettes. Um. Every, everybody should know what a cigarette is. Don't smoke, by the way. And if you do smoke, try your best to quit. It's a horrible product. It's a horrible thing. It is the only product that, when used correctly, will eventually kill you. Okay. Code, that was a little dark. Yeah, it, it is very dark. But the fact of the matter still remains that that is how it works. Hold on. Did that... Did, did that tree not go fully? I don't know if that worked or not. 
and it might be a little harsh saying saying it in that manner in that way but at the same time it's very true Hold on. let's go ahead and put the gold wood over on the gold wood that way we got the gold wood next to the gold wood and we know that the gold wood's there uh, I guess I should purchase uh, another plot and put some palm wood on it right Oh, 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 easy. Here, let's process the rest of this and then we're, we're, we're gonna get back on task. I was supposed to be building a, a roof tonight. We're 20 minutes in. Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, I love playing Lumber Tycoon 2. And you died twice. Oh no. Oh no. Make sure you have a timer and make it for 45 seconds each. You have to be precise, 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 precise. I, I don't know. You have to be a Prius. That's what it is. It's a Prius. Isn't that this? Is, it's a Honda sound. Um, if you look in the, the game files, of Defaultio's uh, profile. I think the sound to the car is something like a Honda or a Hyundai. Start up, running, and shut down. Yeah. Yes, I was watching your vid. Oh, thanks for watching my video. And thank you for watching my videos. If you're if you're here right now and you're you're watching, then thank you. I appreciate you. I don't know. This right here, this mind numbing, don't think about anything, just play. That's why I love Lumber Tycoon 2. Because throughout the day, I have to make decisions, program applications, and do a lot of big decision making. And it makes me very tired. I don't feel like a, a grown, responsible human being, by the way. I, I feel like a kid at heart. I still feel like I'm 18 and ready to take on the world. But I'm tired now. I think that's the only difference, you know? My brain says, I'm still young. My body says, no, you're not. My bones, they start cracking and popping sometimes. But at the same time, I love getting up every day and knowing that I'm going to be playing inside a computer and creating code, creating something, you know, becoming the music maker. Becoming the dreamer of dreams, Willy Wonka. Whoa, okay, stop that. You know something we haven't done in a long time? Long plank. We haven't done long planking in forever. Should we, should, do we have time? No, we don't have time. Long planking is definitely a, a long game. If we were going to long plank, I, I should have started at the very beginning. For those of you that don't know, a long plank is where you take the base of an elm tree that's been growing. So like, um, okay, no elm trees, wow. Oh, there's one. So like you take the base of an elm tree and you shove it through the uh, Solmax 2L and you make sure that it's a tiny, tiny, tiny thing. And you get something like this only times four, so like, it would start over here and it would end over here somewhere. That's that's a long plank. And you just walk it to different places and you walk up the mountain and around the mountain. And you go and see what you can see. Because the code went over the mountain to see what he could see. 
Um, hold on. Is this in one by ones? Over here? Yeah, this is one by ones. So, will, it, will this fit? Will this fit? Will you not fit? There you go. We're just modifying that wood right there. Perfect. And we will get started with the, the roof. We've got about five minutes left, so it'll be good. I always worry about recording a nice long video and like that had uh, some good advice in it and I'm very proud of the moment. Like that's happening right now. I'm very, very excited about this video, you know? And I always look down like five or six times over at my microphone and my auxiliary and my desktop audio because there's been many times I've been recording and the sound's just off. Like I forgot to hit the, the sound button. And that is so frustrating. So for all of you aspiring YouTubers out there, I know how you feel. I've done it before, I'll probably do it again. <sighs> Shouldn't be any cost for that, but it happens. And there is one way that you can kind of avoid it, and that's to make sure that you're recording your audio and your video separately, which is also good for collaborations because then if somebody else forgot to do their sound, oh, hello couch. I should probably get that inside. There's no rain in Lumber Tycoon 2, but I can only imagine like the sun beating down on the couch outside all the time, especially, is that leather? No, it's, it's pleather, it's fake fake leather hold on hold on come on there you go now did I just see that right hold on whoa wait a second <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> oh, this is too fun. No way. <laughs> okay, so that's probably going to be my thumbnail, but I think I just figured out a new way to, to travel. <laughs> Come on, go. Is it is it f stopping? Like it's working for a second. Well, it definitely goes off the camera. It doesn't go off the character itself. There we go. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <coughs> oh my gosh! Hold on, is there, is there a box or is there a container of some kind that we can pick up? Get my character to flop down inside of a container of some kind and then we could, we could travel along with it. Hold on, can we, oh, this is too funny. <laughs> I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing. Why, why can't I grab? Okay, I can grab that. Why can't I grab that? Hold on. 
There we go. That's weird. <laughs> hey, coffee. Coffee. <laughs> I think I figured figured something out by accident. Accident. I bet I would be able to do this with a, a big box a lot easier than this. Oh, laundry's done. <laughs> I can move myself with a piece of wood. Sit glitched. Oh, no, I can't grab it anymore. No. Come into your base. It's on my face, no! <laughs> oh no, I dropped it again. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Sweet me! <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, so if the piece of wood gets directly below me, and it's, it's, okay, so, hold up. That's it, that's it. I think I figured it out. Okay, so, check this out. Um, there, there, there is a ray. If you know what a ray is, it's a singular point and then another, like, direction. And it uses vectors. So the first point and then the second point is a ray direction. So like uh, if we were at zero, 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 X, Y, and Z were all zeros, right? And then we had one, 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 we would come over one, up one, in one, or out one, right? X, Y, Z, right? And then the, the point would be to infinity. So anything along that line for X amount of distance. So there is a ray that is being cast from my humanoid root part directly down. Any piece that is below my body and it hits a piece of wood, that's why I can't grab it. So if it's off to the side like this, I can grab it all day long, no problem. I, that's why I was able to move um, like this, right? We that, that works, we can move like that. But um, the moment that piece of wood gets underneath our butt, that's when I can't grab it anymore. Oh, oh, skills, skills. Wee. <laughs> oh, if we're sitting down, that'll that'll work. Oh no. Okay. Phew. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Spotlight. It is very hard to control. I'm just saying. But that's that's uh, the reasoning behind it. I'm a race car. <laughs> okay. Oh. Outro? <laughs> there we go. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. I'm going to try and figure out some more stuff with that, that glitch. That's going to be awesome. Um, love you guys very much. Uh, it's, if you don't want to subscribe, or if you do, can't to subscribe, don't 
worry about it. So many people are worried about subscriptions and subscribers and some sub count. A lot of people, a lot of you guys are like, Code, you deserve more subs. No, I just want the subs that are here that want to watch. That's what I deserve. That's what you deserve. And that's what I want. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. Yes, yes, we're doing outro right now, buddy. Here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Da, 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 Here we go. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. If you had a bad day, I hope I made it a little bit better. <sighs> outro. 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 Yes, it is outro time. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.